Okay, so welcome to your NLS Oski. Um, you've been looking after Julie. Um, it's Julie's first baby and she's had no problems antenatally and she's had no problems in labour and she's at term now. When you deliver the baby up onto her abdomen for some skin to skin contact, um, the baby is pale, it's floppy and it's not making any spontaneous respiratory effort. What are you going to do? Okay, um, so I'm going to talk to mum and say your baby's not breathing effectively. Um, I need to take your baby to the resuscitator to give it some assistance. Um, I would clamp and cut the cord, take baby over to the resuscitator. Um, I would um, start the heat source, the light source and the clock um, and I would pull the emergency bell and call for help. Um, I want a senior midwife in the room to help me coordinate the care. I've already spoken to mum. Um, I also want a second midwife because I need them to manage mum's third stage because she still hasn't got that completed as yet. Um, and then um, I don't need an obstetrician or anaesthetist but I do want my neonatal team so I want my neonatal registrar and SHO let NICU know um, that they might be getting an unexpected admission and I want a scribe to document everything for me so that I can transcribe that into my notes later. Um, I'm going to start by drying this baby. Um, I need to make sure the baby's nice and dry so it doesn't get cold and then I'm going to take away that wet towel, pop baby on a nice dry warm towel, wrap it in an envelope fold leaving the chest exposed. Hat on to keep the baby nice and warm. And then I'm gonna put the baby into a neutral position because I know that that is the best position to open the newborn's airway. Then with a paediatric stethoscope a centimetre below the lift, left nipple, I'm gonna to listen to the apex beat of the baby and assess the baby. So what's the baby's heart rate? Okay, so the heart rate. Okay, is the baby making any respiratory effort at all? No, there's no respiratory effort. And the colour of the baby? It's pale. And the tone of the baby? It's floppy. Okay, so I need to aerate this baby's lungs by giving some inflation breath. So I'm going to take a mask and I'm going to measure from the cleft of the chin up and over the bridge of the nose. I don't want it to overhang the, um, the chin or encroach on the eye orbits because that will drop the baby's heart rate. And I want a nice seal around that to make sure that I get air into this baby. I'm going to attach it to a bag valve mask, 500ml self-inflating bag, and test the pop-off valve. Roll that again up and over the baby's mouth and nose, holding it with a C and E grip. And I'm going to give five long, slow, sustained inflation breaths in that neutral position to aerate the baby's lungs and push the fluid out. One inflation breath, release. Two inflation breaths, release. Three inflation breaths, release. Four inflation breaths, release. Five inflation breaths, release. And then I'm going to reassess my baby. So what's the baby's heart rate? So the heart rate on this baby is now... It's now nice come up. And um, is the baby breathing spontaneously? No, it's not breathing spontaneously. Uh, did I see chest rise? Yes, you saw the chest rise. And the colour and tone of the baby? It's still pale and floppy at the moment. Okay, so I know I aerated the lungs because the chest moved and I've seen an increase in the baby's heart rate. So I'm going to give ventilation breaths. These are shorter breaths, one on, one off about half the bag, and I'm going to give these for 30 seconds before I reassess the baby. Okay, so that's 30 seconds. Okay, so then I want to reassess my baby again. So the heart rate of the baby? The heart rate is still nice and fast. And is the baby making respiratory effort? Yes, the baby's starting to cry. Lovely, and colour and tone of baby? The colour and tone are improving.